I, I've got the camera put up on a very precarious, anyways, it's so that I have enough room to show you guys stuff. If this is probably your first video, uh, welcome. <laughs> My name is Theo, I live in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, um, and I play middle linebacker for the Elvis of Hurricane. Uh, since I've got new shoulder pads, uh, I figured I'd show you guys off. These are my original pads. They've got some use, um, but part of what got me to think about this is the strap broke with a ridiculously aggressive lineman this previous season, and uh, there are also still pads <laughs> for a middle linebacker that's not that great. Uh, so yeah. Uh, just to let you know, I also utilize a padded undershirt. One of those things, a lot of guys, I had broke my collarbone in three places. So, yeah, I now use a padded undershirt with a lot of chest protection. It's intended for rugby, but, you know, it still works. Plus, it gives me that confidence to hit harder, and yeah. <laughs> so, here we are. It's just so weird about how light this box is, and I keep forgetting the shoulder pads themselves are actually really light. I had to order these from Germany. I'm trying not to cut any. Uh, oh, that tape tears wonderfully well, because very few places deal in this brand. Nice. I was like, please tell me the shoulder pads are in here. This would be a really weird video. There we are. Okay. These are nice new new shoulder pads. <laughs> I open this box upside down. How convenient. Well, if you watch my channel for long enough, you understand that things don't necessarily get done correctly around here. Anyways, see, they are Zenith Hybrid Element Mediums. So, yeah, it's got big long strap on them. I think there's a lot of removable pieces. Oh yes, yeah, see, look at that. They're so new. They even have those like the adver advertisement that designed for performance. And football is a dangerous sport, which may result in serious injuries or even death. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nobody, my team's died. But yeah, you guys can see these pads versus these pads. These are definitely skill pads. I mean, not only does the word say, I can definitely, I can feel a weight difference. Plus, yeah. Anyway, so I'll show you guys what my old pads look like on me. Real quick, if you, like I said, if you really want to see the old video that I did when I first got these pads, um, I'll link it down below and in a card. Now this is awkward because I don't actually have my practice jersey on. I just show you one, two, three, four, three, four, yeah. In copy. So that's these pads. Really good. A lot of people that have shown up at, you know, for my team, they're like, oh how are your pads so streamlined? You know, and it makes sense, but they are also medium. I figured if I got a little bit bigger, a little bit more robust pads, it would work a little bit better. I don't know. It's been four years. Uh, these are still useful pads, just, you know. So yeah, they utilize the buckle, which is what pretty much anybody in the box needs, except for a quarterback, but they're not really in the box. Hmm. And so, these pads uh, also say Zenith on them. <laughs> um, yeah. 
You can see they come with a little bit of extra padding on the inside. The skill pads do not. And the difference these little pads here, yeah. Uh, they are Velcroed in. Pretty hardcore. So if I need to, um, they're just a bit extra, I can take them out. Also, this pad here is also removable, so that's cool. So we're going to turn this on. Okay. Slide that through this loop. Not taking the tag off in case I need to return them. Making sure a good fit. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Seems like it works. So they do have a still lower profile. That pad on the inside does kind of push on my metal brace a little bit. feel it very well. It just feels a little awkward. Probably should have tried it on with my actual shirt. Considering that's what I'll be wearing in games and stuff. Let's do the magic of YouTube and I'm gonna... Okie dokie, I've got this on now. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go full door here. Wrap this thing around. As I've explained in numerous videos, just put your jersey on the pads and then put the whole thing in mass. I understand there's some sort of manly, I don't know, I don't understand why people do it still, but they put their pads on and then put their jersey on over that. And I feel like, it's so, so weird. Stuff underneath. <sighs> the back pads folded up. But at least everything's already good to go. right there. Oh yeah. They definitely have to grab me. There's actually not much room. 
In order to grab by the pads, you have to grab them right here. To be fair, that's fairly vulnerable, but they don't have much extra room to grab, unlike with my skill pads, there was a lot of extra space. And so, yeah. helmets and the pads. Oh my god, that came off so easy. It's because they're slightly bigger. They aren't necessarily... Of course, let's see what happens with a compression jersey. Anyways, yep. Okie dokie. I understand in my last video, when I reviewed the shoulder pads, I actually did run my shoulder into a wall. But yeah, I'm not going to do that here. Um, weirder construction here in Amsterdam than it was back in the United States. So yeah, that's that. I will check with you guys in another review video. I have a girdle coming from the States. And so yeah, it's going to take a bit for that to get here because it's imports and Christ, it's way too expensive. But you know, it'll work. <laughs> 